Okay folks, I'm going to be introducing how to download and install and build WX Widgets on Linux. Uh, WX Widgets is a great cross-platform GUI library that works on multiple platforms, multiple languages, and we'll be looking at this from a C++ perspective. So from the downloads uh, page here, uh, which I've already loaded, we're going to search for Linux. I'm running on an Ubuntu 18.04 machine, but this will work for uh, pretty much any other version of Linux. So go ahead and do the source uh, build here, which I've already uh, downloaded here. Again, this is version 3.1.5, but this should be similar for any uh, version that you're using. And I'll go ahead and show in the folders where that is. Uh, I want to extract out this location um, to a folder, um, which of course I've uh, already done here. Um, so once that is done, navigate to that folder where the contents were extracted from. And you can go ahead and get a listing of the contents here. And we'll notice that we have a CMake list file here. So that's usually a good indicator that we can do some sort of build. Um, and whenever I do my builds, I like to build in a separate uh, directory. So this is going to be my uh, Linux build here. So I'll make a directory. Um, you can make this within the folder here. Uh, some folks would recommend I do it outside. Um, either way is going to be uh, fine here. I just want to get it built. Um, and we'll see we have uh, this uh, empty folder here which I've navigated into where I'm going to build my binary files for the WX widgets library. I'm going to run CMake and that exists in the directory above where it's going to find the CMake list file uh, and I just want make files here. So I'll go ahead and run this and on occasion you might get some errors here. Uh, I've left this one in here because um, looks like we have a dependency that's missing. It says could not find GTK3 um, so the include library. So we're missing some library here. So let's go ahead and just uh, do a little bit of debugging here. And I might search something like GTK3 libraries, Ubuntu install, uh, and then you can figure out how to install the libraries. Well, usually when you're installing libraries on Linux, you'll want the uh, dev version because that gives you the uh, header files and basically the API um, to program with. So I'm going to go ahead and install those here. Uh, type in my password. Um, and I would say yes to this and just give that a moment to install here. So we'll basically rerun this process now to see if CMake um, and all the dependencies have been uh, satisfied here. Okay, so now that that's uh, finished installing, I'll clear my uh, screen here, uh, do an ls, and you'll notice we have some files here uh, in CMake from the cache. Um, I like to remove these files. Uh, anytime CMake uh, generates them just to make sure that I'm doing a perfectly uh, fresh build. Uh, so let's go ahead and try CMake and repeat and see if we have any uh, missing dependencies here. Uh, maybe a few warnings here, but again, uh, looks like it's running fine. Now, WX Widgets at this time does allow you to use uh, and does support C20 features and so on, so um, we're, we're in pretty good shape here. This is a pretty modern library here. So I do LS here. Looks like our make file was built, uh, and then I'm just going to do make. Um, and if I want to parallelize this build, I'm going to attempt to do it with J8 here to do eight jobs at a time, just to speed things up here, um, just so it'll only take uh, a minute or so. Um, if you do encounter problems with a parallel build, um, just try typing in make and hitting enter, and that should also uh, help you uh, build. Sometimes the parallel builds will fail because something will get built out of order. Uh, if there's some dependency. So anyway, I'll let that uh, build. Uh, my system this should just take a minute or so and we'll proceed from there. All right, so we've successfully had the build on WX widgets. Uh, I'm just gonna navigate over here to um, now check out the uh, hello world for WX um, now that we have the build. Um, and let's see what we actually built here. Uh, what's gonna really be important here is for us to look in, for example, this uh, lib folder here. And if I just list the contents, you'll see that this is our actual uh, shared libraries here, okay, for the different components of the library. So uh, within WX, um, as well as some other components here. Uh, another really interesting thing is this WX config tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do um, my current uh, directory here, dot slash WX config, uh, I'll hit enter here. Um, and let me make this a little bit bigger so the text um, shows up. And basically this is the tool that's gonna help you figure out where did all those libraries get built. So WX config is gonna help us build our C++ uh, application. So for example, if I do WX config and dash dash CPP flags, let's see what happens here. WX 
config dash dash cpp flags. Uh, whoops, let me make sure I type that uh, just as one word here. Uh, and what you'll notice here is, you know, I download this in my uh, downloads folder, WX widgets, um, and then in the include directory, these are all the includes that I need for WX. The GTK3 uh, components, which uh, this is built on top of uh, in Linux here, uh, other include directives, any um, defines here that need to be sent into the code, etc. Um, so you don't have to figure out, you know, this, this line yourself, okay? So you can figure out what libraries that you need to include. Uh, the second thing I like to look at is the dash dash libs. Um, this is common for a lot of these config tools. Um, let's go ahead and uh, run this one as well. And you'll see here's where all the libraries were built. Okay, so for threading, for instance, you need the pthread library. That might be familiar to folks. Uh, where this uh, lib folder actually exists, all of our shared object files. And then, you know, the other proper ways and, and flags that WX widgets uh, applications would be uh, otherwise expecting when building them. So again, uh, this is going to be your tool to lean off of when you're building a sort of uh, hello world uh, application here. Uh, so with that in mind here, um, let's go ahead and uh, look at this hello world uh, example program and actually build it on Linux. Okay, so the question you might be having now is, cool, we built the library, we've got the includes, but how do I get Hello World um, started? So this page, again, uh, on the WX uh, widgets uh, documentation here, um, shows you uh, a few of the important concepts. So I'll make it a little bit bigger here. Um, I recommend that you sort of read through this. Um, again, it's going to explain why the headers are included as they are, and basically that um, anytime you drive a new class, you know, you're doing it from wx app here um, and which methods that you have to overwrite here. Okay, so um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through this um, tutorial here. You should really read through it so you understand the different um, things that you have. Um, but, but I'm going to get to the bottom here where we have the uh, entire program. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, it says we can copy and paste it. Uh, so we're not going to learn anything by doing this. Uh, and then how to get our first application running. Um, then we can inspect, you know, some of these other things uh, later. So uh, what do I do at this point? Uh, I've got this copy and pasted, and I want to build a WX widgets app here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, split my window here uh, and just create uh, you know, first um, WX app here, uh, CPP. And let's go ahead and just uh, paste this in here. OK, so we've got all the code here. Now, how we really uh, normally build our applications is we use something like G++, you know, whatever standard we want. Uh, this is the first WX app, and output as a program here. All right, so again, if I try to just compile this, uh, right, we're missing our includes. But recall that we had that uh, WX uh, config tool um, that had the CPP uh, flags here, okay? Uh, so we need to include these flags as part of our compilation step. Um, now, some folks might be tempted to sort of copy and paste this in here, and we certainly could do that. Um, but a little bit more portable way um, to do things, I'm just going to fit this on one line here, uh, would instead be to take this uh, and evaluate this as part of our compilation string. So uh, what folks, so folks uh, end up doing is they uh, do dot slash wx config or wherever uh, this location is. Oops, let me uh, retry that again. Um, so it might not uh, do the actual completion for us, but uh, dot slash wx config, and then pass in the CPP flags, and then close uh, off with this um, uh, mark here, the tick mark. Okay, now if I hit enter here, um, you'll notice we get something different. Um, this time we don't get any uh, of the errors. Uh, if I scroll up about missing uh, header files, but these are linker warnings here. Okay, so we've not been able to find the definitions to uh, these various functions. So how do I fix that? Well, just like we have our includes, we need to include our uh, libraries here. Uh, so I could do this in another uh, line here, uh, or I can include uh, libs like so. Um, and this will give us um, all of our tools, and you'll see that we now have a program here. So I can now just type this in, and I've got our hello world for WX widgets here. So we have all the uh, example application things here um, that we can play around with. So this is a good starting point for WX, uh, getting it built on a Linux system, and how to run and compile the app and debug, again, some of the uh, errors that may show up. So I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll uh, see you in the next one.